Hey, Amelia here. Welcome to Newsbreak. Let's see what's coming up. China lands on the moon. Another mysterious monolith. And Santa goes for a swim. But before we get to all that, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Now we're heading down to the deep sea where scientists have just discovered a new species of comb jelly. Sounds a bit weird? Hmm, looks a bit weird too. Here's Liv. The deep sea is home to some of the weirdest looking things on the planet. And now scientists have just added one more strange critter to the list. This see-through blob thing. When I thought this thing, I just thought, that is so weird looking. It's like a, like a party balloon, only instead of sort of having one string hanging down, it's got two little dangly bits, and on each of those dangly bits is a tentacle. It's a type of comb jelly called a tenophore, and it took them five whole years to realise it was a new thing. For the first time ever, scientists made the discovery only using super high-def cameras. Typically, new species are described by taking samples, taking animals back up into the lab, and doing a lot of laboratory analysis. They're hoping they'll be able to scoop up a sample one day. But being the mysterious deep sea and all, that could be a while off. It is possible that it could be years, decades, maybe even a century before the species is encountered again. Sydney has been hit by a wild storm overnight. Thousands of people were left without power. Lightning strikes set this old building alight. Luckily, firefighters managed to save it. I was a bit scared because I thought we just lived down there. So I was like, well, we got like 100 metres close to lightning. So it was a bit strange. It doesn't happen every day. The case of the mysterious metal monolith continues. In Romania, just as Utah's metal structure disappeared from the desert 10 days after its initial discovery, this one popped up in northern Romania, seemingly taking its place. Overall, it's probably a little less impressive. The swirly circles don't help. Anyway, it's since vanished too, and police there are investigating. Will we ever get answers, or just more randomly placed giant metal structures? Hmm, I don't know. China has successfully landed a probe on the moon. It's on a mission that no one's attempted in more than 40 years, bringing moon rocks and dirt back to Earth. Why? Well, Jack explains. It's something that hasn't been done for 44 years, and only two other countries have managed to pull it off. A collection of dirt and rocks. Wait, dirt and rocks? That doesn't sound right. Oh, wait, sorry, I didn't turn over the script, okay. <clears throat> A collection of dirt and rocks from the moon! Yep, China is on a mission to collect moon rocks and moon dirt. Last week, they launched the Chang'e 5 spacecraft. And overnight, it successfully landed on, you guessed it, Mars. I'm just joking, it landed on the moon, obviously. There are no astronauts on board. Instead, there is a special moon drill that will be used to dig about two meters down and collect the rocks and dirt. And no, it won't be collecting just any old rocks and dirt. It'll be digging around a high volcanic area known as Oceanus Procellarum, where the rocks are thought to be about 1.3 billion years old, which as far as moon rocks go is very young. Scientists are hoping the samples will help us learn more about the moon's origin and how it was formed. Who knew moon rocks and dirt could be so useful? I certainly didn't. Well, it's that time of year again, when a man in a red suit breaks into your house and leaves presents, fir trees grow in lounge rooms, and people pull on explosive cylinders full of dad jokes. Hmm. All sounds a bit silly, doesn't it? But it is the silly season. OK, these penguins aren't silly at all. They know there's no need to wait for the right date to eat the treats from your advent calendar, especially when this lady's just handing them out to you. London Zoo's keepers swap the usual chocolate surprise for fishies to please this bunch and celebrate their post-lockdown silly season reopening. Ooh, that one's sticking to the rules. Oh, no. In another part of the zoo, keepers had a different, possibly even sillier approach, a letterbox to Santa. Meerkat size. Something tells me Santa's little helpers aren't posting letters in there at all. 
And what's sillier than going swimming in your Santa suit? Well, bringing your Christmas tree with you. We're not sure if this is the real Santa, but either way, he seemed to really be enjoying a break from the icy North Pole on this visit to the Dead Sea in Israel. Uh. Now, before you go celebrate the silly season, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on an episode of BTN Newsbreak. Thanks for watching.